love and light, and welcome to Mental Notes Live. My name is Malcolm Alexander with the hostile takeover for this episode today. I'll be speaking with the creator of Mental Notes Live and no coincidence, Ryan Hale, and you'll also be seeing musical guest Darius Milik. DJ Wood is in the house, show him some love. Let's get it in. Welcome to Mental Notes Live. My name is Malcolm Alexander. Today on the show is, well, the man of the show. It's his show, Mental Notes Live. We have the creator right here, Ryan Hale. Man, thank you, man. Thank you to have you back, should I say. It's a few episodes later. Well, look, look, here for the hostile takeover, I, I'm, I'm going to just take my sip. <laughs> he forced these cups on us, too, guys. I, I sure did. It, it, look, look. Help I, me, Lord. I'm, I'm going to keep the hostile takeover very, very... Uh, discreet. Very discreet. Very discreet. I'm not going to... No, really. Thank you so much for including me in, in this vision, in this project. Your, your courage um, really is admirable, uh, just to me. I mean, I, I don't know if it's like, I, I would imagine part of your purpose is to have maybe some of that courage admirable to the whole world, but speaking for myself and accountably and responsibly for me, um, the purpose and the way you are courageous and confident in giving your giving what you have inside, giving what God has given you, mm -hmm. um, and letting God speak through you with your work yeah. and being so. I, I, I keep saying courageous, but so many of us has, have these dreams and we have these words inside of us, right. and we, we keep them in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and we, we block our own blessings. We we really hold on to what God has mm -hmm. um, has inside of us. And I just yeah. want to say how inspired uh, I am by you and um, I appreciate it, man. Maybe, Same. Maybe, maybe the reason I want to even just put, put my brain here is because like I, I, want, I want people to know who I want to be you know when I grow up I, I want people to know like like uh, the energy that you have um, adds so much value to who I am I and it, to to my brand on the brink and so I really I genuinely thank you man, thank you so you already know that the feeling is mutual oh, man. we've talked off camera on camera so you oh, already know how oh, I feel but I appreciate, oh, it. Uh, I appreciate it and um, you know it's interesting because like yeah, we talk all the time, but I actually don't know if I really know what is the spirit of mental notes. Maybe I know a little bit of no coincidence, mm -hmm. but mental notes is something that was kind of pandemic inspired. Yeah. If if I wasn't, if, if I'm not mistaken, what, what what's the spirit of, of mental notes live? So for mental notes um, live. Um, like you said, Mental Notes itself was pandemic in inspired in a way, but also the other pandemic that inspired it was racial injustice, mm -hmm. uh, police brutality, th things of that nature. So um, just seeing what was going on in my community, seeing what I was feeling inside. And like you said, instead of holding that stuff inside, I wanted to find and create a way to put that stuff out there. Uh, but not to only put it out there, but to have impactful, meaningful conversations about what was going on today. Um, and so thinking about what was going on the whole time. I wanted to talk about um, progress. I wanted to talk about faith. And most importantly, you know, I'm huge on mindset. So um, I just felt like all three of those things fit into um, something called Mental Notes, which I created over last summer. Um, I had some amazing conversations via Zoom um, on what was going on in our country at the time. So that just spurred Mental Notes Live, which, which uh, what I want to do with this is just create more impactful conversations this more on a weekly basis um, and just kind of highlight what's going on around me in my local community. So you'll see, as you've already seen, a lot of great um, talented people from Phoenix, talented people like yourself from California and, and, and this West region. So mm -hmm. I'm just trying to not only highlight people that we have, especially in Black History Month, a lot, a lot of amazing black artists and creators. Yeah. Uh, but I want to highlight a lot of people who are around because I feel like that's what it's all about, having those conversations and just mm -hmm put people on the good stuff. So. Well, but you mentioned community, right? And yeah. that's what it's about. You are, you're part of your purpose, and maybe if you haven't said it, but to me, it is creating community, exactly. right? Creating community around God and around love mm -hmm. and around his children that, yeah. that, that, that are doing incredible things, you know, uh, in this realm. Right. Um, what does, right, because we're on the No Coincidence channel, exactly. right? This, that, that's the, as they call it, the umbrella brand, right? right? Um, what does No Coincidence mean to you in Man. the grand scheme of, of life? life yeah yeah I mean for me no coincidence has was literally something that was created out of pain um, and I've told this a million times I've said this a million times it was created out of pain when I was in a place where I didn't truly understand what was going on in my situation 
Um, this was created to help me kind of look past what was going on. You know what I mean? So um, no coincidence for me, honestly, is literally what I say in every no coincidence video. Everything always works out the way it should. And I truly believe that. I feel like every single thing, trial, tribulation, blessing, miracle, open door, every single thing happens for a reason. Yeah. And once you tap into that mindset, you start to not sulk on the bad or over celebrate the good, but you start to learn how to how to be balanced between the highs and lows and, and to accept what's coming at you and not let it overtake you, yeah. um, but to kind of learn how to navigate through life with the proper perspective. It's as you said, right? No coincidence. And you end all of your content videos with it's happening just the way it should, mm -hmm. right? Something that I always have to think about and constantly bring into my own spirit is that no matter what I'm going through, good or bad, yin and yang, right? Both yeah. are going to happen in life. Um, it's not happening to me, but it's happening for me. Right. Uh, there, there's pain in the lesson, mm -hmm. like uh, like Vincent said, yeah. you know, and I, I, just, I just felt that so much. Mm -hmm. um, a daily routine and a daily practice for myself in self-preservation is the process and the practice of creating worth for myself. Mm -hmm. So forgive me if this sounds a little crass, but why are you worth it? Yeah. And, and how are you creating worth for yourself and, and your work? Yeah, I mean, that's a great question. And I know for me last year, that's a question that I had asked myself multiple times. And something I started doing is um, each morning when I woke up, I would pray. And then I would also start to do some um, self-talk kind of to yeah. myself and just kind of some affirmations and things mm -hmm. of that nature. Um, and that kind of helped me find my worth and why I'm worth it. And it kind of goes back to my purpose because I feel like my purpose is worth it. I feel like what my purpose is and what I'm called to do is to speak life into others, to impact people, to create a community where people, like-minded individuals can continue to grow and not just grow and have like a, a cult following or whatnot, yeah. but we're gonna grow. And then as we grow, we're gonna go impact other people. They're gonna grow. And as they grow, we're going to, that's, that's, that's my purpose. And you I feel know like. that. Exactly. And I know that because that is, ever since I started No Coincidence, people randomly reach out to me, not saying I've got a huge following or whatnot, but people reach out to me just saying how much it impacted them. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And that's what it's all about. For me, it's not about fame or celebrity or even money for that matter. It's about trying to impact and speaking to somebody's it's life. About the impact. Yeah, and that's why I know I'm worth it. And that's why this is just another piece or another avenue to do that. You get what I'm saying? And like I said earlier, it's all about faith, mindset, and progress in this specific show. Um, so every episode, we try to capture that, whether that is, like you mentioned, Vincent, and telling his, his story of faith and, and yeah. inspiring story of what he went through, or us just talking about branding, or us mm -hmm. just talking about um, how we can grow mm -hmm. on a day-to-day -day basis. It's all about progress, yes. mindset, yes. and faith. That's what it's all about. So I want to create conversations around those three major points. That's why I feel like this is worth it. So if you're looking for something yeah. to help encourage you or uplift you or inspire you or get you through a tough time... Mm -hmm. This is a platform, I think, for that. I love that, man. And God bless that vision. I mean, I, I see it, and that's a part of the confidence and the courage that I talk about. Right. When I say to, to know, to know that this is what you're here to do, mm -hmm. it's all you could ever want. Exactly. Why? What is your why? Yeah. Why keep going? Why do this? Yeah. The why is so important for anybody, any right. business, any art. Mm -hmm. Why? Man, for me, I don't know necessarily... Um, what it is, but for me, my why is the passion that I have every time I do it. The passion every time I step in front of camera to, like I said, speaking to somebody's life. And I don't take it for granted. I know that every time I step in front of a camera, it is with a purpose, mm -hmm. like I said. And that's my why. It's because I feel like people need to hear this, mm -hmm. um, whether that's from me or from somebody else. But if I can be another vehicle to get this message out, that's what I'm here for. So that's why I do it. That's why I'll, I'll continue to do it. <laughs> That's why if no nobody listened, I'm going to still do it. Come on, come <laughs> so this on. is why I do it, man. So yeah, that's, that's what it's all about. I love that. Um, I know you have been ending all of these episodes for Mental Notes Live with a mental note. Yeah. Uh, what is that mental note for you that you might want to bring your episode to an end on? Man, that's huge. I, I feel like for me lately, what I've been stuck on is that apprehension is the counterpunch to faith. Ooh. Apprehension is the counterpunch man. to faith. And, and lots of times, like you talked about, the courage that you feel I have, which is amazing to hear, but mm -hmm. the courage is sometimes that we can't hold in dreams or have dreams that are unimagined or unexecuted or have a vision that we just never yeah. put into action. I feel like sometimes a dream or a goal is two steps. You have that dream, but the second step is the most important, putting it in action, yeah. executing day, to, day by day. Um, and sometimes you have that fear if, for me, 
as a content creator, is somebody going to like it? Am I going to get the views or the metrics or things like that? Or is people going to agree with what we're talking about or whatnot? So in yeah. anything, you can put that in any avenue and know that there's times in your life where you feel apprehensive, where you need to do something, but you're feeling apprehensive. Yeah. And faith is the thing where you have to just have that even when you don't see it um, and have that even when you don't see your thing come to life just, le- just yet. That's why faith is so important and that mindset is so important. So for me now, it's about less of being apprehensive or hesitant, but now I'm just taking the risk. I'm just jumping. Yeah. You know what I mean? If it doesn't work, cool. We'll go back to the drawing board and do it again. You know what I mean? Because I feel like that's what it's all about. It's all about that constant um, step towards your destiny, constant step towards impacting somebody else. And yeah. most importantly, you're constantly growing because a failure is not a step back, but honestly, a failure is another opportunity to grow. To you grow. know what I mean? That's so right. when something doesn't work, I don't look at it as like, dang, I'm I messed up forever, mm-hmm. but like I, 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 I obviously I'm angry or upset when yeah. I fail, mm-hmm. but I, I take a step back and I look back and to see what can I do differently next sure. time. You know what I mean? Sure. So that's what it's all about for me. That's my mental note. That's a mental note. Yeah. Well, brother, thank you, man. Thank you, bro. Thank you for letting me hop in the captain's seat. Uh, Absolutely. You call it a hostile takeover. It's what you <laughs> called it. So I, I just, I just had well to, worth it. A well worth it hostile well, takeover. Well worth it, man. Yo, <laughs> yes, God bless. Thank you. And, it, and, and you know, let's let's go. Let, let's live at our purpose. Yes, sir. Always, man. Always, bro. Always. I need y'all right now to give it up for today's musical guest on Mental Notes Live, Darius Milik. I know you need some Darius Malik in your playlist. I do too. Thanks so much for watching Mental Notes Live. My name is Malcolm Alexander with yet another hostile takeover right here on Mental Notes Live. If you like what you saw today, and I know you do, make sure that you like and subscribe to this content so you can get more. And hit the bell for push notifications so you never miss any Mental Notes Live. Thank you again. Special thanks to Ryan Hale for having me. To everyone else, God bless. Yo, Wood, my brother, take us out.